Hey, Neoflame here coming right at you with some Starbound, the game that made my dreams come true. Or at least, I gotta say, it is made by uh, some developers that also worked on Terraria, and I was a huge fan of Terraria. Like, really huge. I, 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 I don't know, I, I played everything in this game that could have been played. And now they released Starbound, and I followed this game since its earliest, its earliest uh, develop developing stages. And I was just thinking, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta play this. I gotta play this, and uh, I gotta record some gameplay. And the thing is, I already played a little bit with uh, a friend of mine in multiplayer, and I. Got this little character over here, but I didn't want to use it in the Let's Play. So I'm making a new one. Only for you guys. Making a new character so you can see what this game is all about. So, as you can see, we can choose from six different species. Like Human, Avian, Apex, Florin, Hylotals. That's like some underwater species and the glitch so we are going to play a human though a really boring human and you can you can you have all sorts of character customizations which is really nice and what skin tone do i want this one this one i want this one all right so in hairstyle uh, please keep in mind this game is in its earliest stages like in, in the beta right now uh, It is available on Steam for I think 12 euros Or something 12 euros. I I'll uh, put a link down below in the description if you want to buy it and Help the creators of this game out because this is amazing. This is really amazing. It's like Terraria in space um, I'm going to show you something about it in just a second. If I find some hair that <laughs> I like, I'm not really... Oh, that that is Elvis. Almost, at least. Alright, welcome back. Uh, I had to restart the game, and I have found a hairstyle that I like. With a little beard. Let's find a shirt. And some pants, and... Let's change that color. Red. Do we want to have red pants? Hell yeah, we want red pants. Oh, uh, Jesus. That's too much to customize here. Oh, what the hell. Alright. So let's choose a name. I'm going to choose Neo Flame. Boom. And we have Neo Flame. I guess I could have chosen the personality. That's how the character stands in the game. But that's really not that interesting so as you can see we have a little new quest popping up earth has been ripped apart you have been in search of a new home for some time finally your ship has run out of fuel in orbit of an unknown planet before setting out in search of fuel search your chips con storage for a matter manipulator press e to interact with objects all right you see down here we have uh a a bar that tells us how hungry we are and this is our ship locker it has place for 70 uh, 64 slots and we are just going to take everything in it quest complete well done the meta manipulator allows you to manipulate almost anything in the game world all right so shop class it's time to search the planet for fuel to survive down there You'll need tools. To produce tools, you need to make yourself a crafting table. Use your ship's teleportation platform to beam down. So the thing about uh, this early developing stage right now is there are tons of bugs and uh, the developers know that and they are pushing out um, what's it called? Uh, character wipes and game world wipes. So if something is going extremely wrong, they will just wipe uh, the character and the game world. So don't get too 
um, comfy with your character. It's just, it's still better, it's still testing, and if they feel like they have to wipe the characters, they will do that. So you will lose all your progress you have, which is kind of, kind of sad. Uh, this game right now has actually multiplayer, so you can connect to a server, and like in Terraria, you will keep all the stuff your character has in the ship and on himself. So that's pretty cool. So as you can see, this meta, uh, meta manipulator is like a pickaxe, axe, or anything else. It has quite the range, and it builds uh, four times four blocks. Uh, two point uh, two times two. So we are being attacked by some pesky little birds. They pushed a patch yesterday. Uh, which made the weapons more balanced uh, because some weapons had ex huge damage. So they're actually fixing the works they create, which is pretty cool. Uh, it was too easy with those weapons. And it's cooler having smaller damage and more balance in the game. All right, so we are going to take some wood make a crafting box and maybe a little little home on this planet and then we're going to head out and find some fuel fuel in this game is uh, on the starter worlds in the alpha sector it's uh, coal to fuel the ship you need coal and then you can actually take off and fly to another planet which is pretty cool I'm just going to take uh, all those trees right now. This meta manipulator is what I'm being uh, is wh why I'm being a little bit sad about this game. It's pretty weak. It's pretty damn weak, um, and it's such a cool tool. Like, look at it. It's so spacey and techy, and having it be so weak uh, frustrates me a little bit because almost everything you build past this thing. Is it's just way better than this meta manipulator. It would be would be awesome if you could maybe upgrade it or something. But I haven't found anything like that yet. I haven't found anything to upgrade that. So, all right. We got some we got some wood. Let's build some wood planks. Boom. Wood planks. Wooden crafting table, boom. There we go. Well done. Using the crafting table you will give you access to a wide range of new recipes. Collecting fuel and visiting a range of plants is the best way to find resources. Alright. Food fight. By now you're likely being to feel hungry. Beginning to feel hungry. Food can be found in variety of places, but in a pinch of honey, blah, 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 blah. So we need a... It basically tells us we need a bow to hunt monsters.